Unlike Adobe Bridge or other image browsing software that can browse arbitrary folders of images wherever they exist on your hard drive, images in Lightroom must first be imported into a Lightroom catalog, which is a database that contains previews and information for all your images, but it doesn't contain the actual images themselves. Understanding how Lightroom catalogs work is often a challenge for new users, but it is also the catalog system that makes the best features of Lightroom possible. When you start Lightroom, it opens to your default catalog. If you have a single Lightroom catalog, it is the default. If you have never imported images into your catalog, it will be empty. If you have more than one catalog, Lightroom will open to the catalog you have designated in the preferences as we discussed in the previous tutorial segment. If you want to open a different catalog or create a new catalog, you can do so from the file menu. Unless you have a specific reason to create more than one catalog, I recommend sticking with just one. Only one catalog can be open at a time, so if you divide your images into multiple catalogs, you'll need to close one catalog to be able to open and view another, and you will not be able to search for images or create collections of images contained in different catalogs. You can create a new catalog at any time, so if you don't like how you've constructed your current catalog, you can always build a new catalog more to your liking. Catalogs are built by importing images. We will cover importing images in a future tutorial segment. Catalogs are stored in a folder on your computer. While they contain all the information and previews for the images, the actual images are located in a different location on your computer. As needed, the Lightroom catalog references and accesses the original image. If you delete, change, or move an image outside of Lightroom, or disconnect a hard drive that contains images, a question mark or an exclamation point will appear in Lightroom indicating that Lightroom can't find the image at the location that it was imported. For example, if I browse to a certain image in Adobe Bridge and change the file name of that image by just adding a 1 to the end of it. Now when I go back to Lightroom and browse to that same location, we can see that that same image file has a little exclamation point that indicates that that photo is now missing. If I go back to Bridge and change the file name back to its original name, Lightroom can now find the original image in its location on the hard drive. Lightroom automatically builds catalogs in a default location. On both PCs and Macs, the default location is Users, Username, Pictures, Lightroom. But you don't have to keep your catalog in that location. The catalog can be moved to any location on your computer and opened by going to File, Open, Catalog, and then browsing to its location. On my computer, I keep my catalog on a separate data drive. If you need to, you can locate your catalog by going to Edit, Catalog Settings, and then asking Lightroom to show you your catalog's location. You can even move your catalog to another computer that has Lightroom installed on it and open your catalog there. It's common for people who frequently switch computers to house all of their image files as well as their Lightroom catalog on a single external hard drive. So all they have to do is plug in the hard drive to a computer of their choice that has Lightroom installed and open their catalog. If you work at home on a desktop computer but travel with a laptop and would like to access your Lightroom catalog and images in both places, this is an excellent option. In Lightroom 5, an even better option for you might be to build smart previews of all your images. 
With Smart Previews, you have full capability to edit your images even if they're offline or on another computer. You can output the Smart Preview images for web and email, or even for making small prints up to about 8 by 12 inches or so. Smart Previews are 2,540 pixels on the long side, so to make large prints, you would need to have your original images back online. Using Smart Previews, you can simply take your Lightroom catalog with you on your laptop and leave the big hard drive containing your actual images safely at home. 14 gigabytes of raw images will only take up about 400 megabytes of space as Smart Previews. Smart Previews can be built as images are imported into the catalog, which we'll discuss in a future segment. Or you can instruct Lightroom to build Smart Previews by selecting a group of images in the library module, and then going to Library, Previews, Build Smart Previews. To build Smart Previews for every image in your catalog, you would select All Photographs and then type Control A or Command A on a Mac to select All and then tell Lightroom to build Smart Previews. If your catalog has 56,000 images like mine, this could take a while. Be sure to check the Links and Resources document I included with these tutorials for more information on using Smart Previews. When Lightroom is open, you are able to view and edit all photos in the current open catalog. In the library module, the panel on the left allows you to browse and manage the folders and images in your catalog. In the catalog panel, you can browse, search, and filter all of the images in your catalog at one time. A quick collection is a fast way to create a group of images, which I'll cover in more detail in the tutorials covering the library module. Previous Import allows you to browse all of the images that were added to the catalog the last time an import was done. Next up, I'll help you out with setting up and managing your Lightroom catalog.